Hi, I'm Carter Sheridan. I'm the wide receivers coach, and this is my first year at Tulane. So if you need to come right back here, point your toe directly back at the quarterback. If you round it, quarterback's going to miss you out here. It's going to get picked off or PBU. Can't have that. That's how you lose games. First few months on the job has been outstanding. Working for my mentor, Curtis Johnson, who pretty much taught me everything that I know about wide receiver play and coaching the position. It's been, been a fun ride so far. I got a great group of kids that I'm dealing with, so that's always a pleasure. Anytime you have a group of kids that are willing to take the coaching and want to excel and want to get better. Go! Let him go. Get him off. One, two, three, four. There you go. There you go. Oh, don't drop your arms. Sink your hips. Sink your hips. It's going to hurt a little bit now. When you bend your knees and sink your hips like that, it's going to hurt. It's supposed to hurt. I mean, you're doing it right. Like calisthenics. Let's work on plugging this ball thumbs together today. All right? Let's be natural catchers. Absorb the football. Limber fingers. Well, I have a high expectation level of this group. Teddy Veal, he's one of my, uh, it's a pleasure to coach him. You know, he's kind of, I guess you can call him one of my prize pupils. You know, he's doing well, and all he wants to do is learn. He sits down, he gathers up, soaks up everything that I'm coaching. Uh, he's a leader in the room. Taryn, uh, Unc a lot, you know, we call him Unc. He's another leader, but he does it in a different type of way. He's a quiet leader, a good motivator, outstanding hands, a smart guy, extremely smart. I'm glad to have him on board. Uh, he, he's been a real leader. He's real physical. I like that about him. He has strong hands, and, and uh, we have Devin Bro. He's a dynamic route runner, great transition, good hips, can stretch the field extremely fast. Uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Joe Morgan, who we had over at the Saints, a little bit of Robert Meacham as well, has a little bit of that in him. And, uh, and that's how we're going to try to use him as well, is that type of uh, athlete to stretch the field and uh, get, get us good coverage underneath, take the top off of coverages. And uh, he's doing an outstanding job so far. And uh, Larry Dace. I mean, great kid. He comes to work every day. You kind of hear him before you see him. He's one of those kind of kids, but it's only because he's eager and excited to take on a new day and contribute as much as he can. He's kind of a utility guy. Uh, he knows all the positions, knows exactly what to do in all situations, and you always need a guy like that. We got uh, the young bucks, the young pups. We got Andrew Hicks and Ricky Preston, who I'm very excited about. Uh, these guys came in day one and just started pushing each other, and just were ready. Were, they were ready to take on this challenge of playing Division I football, and they've embraced their opportunities. These guys have to come in, I mean, they have to play now. Andrew Hicks, big target, strong, uh, played quarterback in uh, high school, coming from Bell Chase. Real smart kid, real smart kid. And he's a guy, he's in the classroom, he's not afraid to speak up and speak his mind and ask the, ask the questions. He, has, he can also stretch the field as well, like I said about Devin Bro. Uh, so he has good tools to work with. He's very raw, he's a work in progress, but He's willing to put the work in, and if you have that, uh, the sky's the limit. I mean, I, mean, I, I see he's a, he's a strong, tough, and he has good character. Same with Ricky Preston, different type of receiver. He, he's still a, a kid, and you look at him right now, and he has a nice-looking frame. He's going to grow into it. He's going to fill it out, and I'm excited to see what lies ahead with this kid. Bro, no, don't ever, don't, ever get, don't ever say my bad for being aggressive. Don't ever tell me my bad for being aggressive. I'll never fault you for being over aggressive. Just look in the air for it. It's going to be the only thing in the air moving. Catch it first. Catch it with your eyes. Smell the ball. I used to come to a lot of games last year when I was with the Saints. You know, I come support CJ. And, you know, they didn't quite have the outcome last year that they wanted to and that they expected and that they desired. But one thing that I can see, and it was infectious on the sideline, was those guys had great attitude and they had no quit in them and those kids wanted to win. You know, if they didn't have any success, it wasn't because they weren't trying. It wasn't because they weren't giving all their effort. It was just, you know, they were young. And uh, not to make excuses, because I'm not an excuse guy. You know, at the end of the day, you know, you have to, you have to bring the ship in. Nobody wants to hear about how rough the waters are. That's, but that's one thing that was infectious on that sideline, is that those guys had uh, great desire, great attitude, and they're on the same page, and they wanted to win. So fans this year, if they kind of felt what I was feeling a little bit, then I'm sure they can see that Tulane football is on the cusp of doing something pretty special. There are two types of pain in this world, man. The pain of discipline and the pain of regret. All right, this is the discipline right here. Where you go down, fight, soul search, dig deep, and find a way to make the next play. That's discipline. There's the pain of regret. The regret that you didn't do everything you could have done to make that scoreboard. Look at that scoreboard. 
there's the pain that you're going to feel of regret if that scoreboard says the opposite and it's 28 Duke and 21 us. We're going to wish we would have did something more. We're going to wish we'd have caught the ball better. We're going to wish we'd have trained harder. We're going to wish we'd have ran faster. All right? That pain and regret hurts a hell of a lot more than discipline. We got to be willing to pay the price. There's no easy way, man. There's no shortcuts. There's no shortcuts to greatness. There's only no one way. All right? Y'all got to pay the price. And y'all are paying the price out here. Now, you can look at yourself in the mirror and know there are things you need to do and that you can do and will do to get better. That's what it's going to take. Guys, I need y'all to do today what others want so y'all can do tomorrow what others can't. All right? Y'all feel me on that? Do today what others want so y'all can do tomorrow what others can't. All right?